This one here, for example, uses 1500 watts of electricity. This one here uses 1500 watts of electricity. But there's a circular here that I, f I found in the newspaper that is 1500 watts, much like this little one here. It says it uses 1500 watts, but heats up to 200 square feet. That means that you would need 10 of these to make as much heat as one of these. That means your electric bill will be 10 times higher. So if you're heating 2,000 square feet, your home is insulated really well, and it doesn't get below 32 degrees outside, you can heat your entire house for the entire year for only $500 with this heater. But if you would heat that same house with this one, it would cost you $5,000 to heat that same house. Another way to look at it is this. Let's say that you have a small bedroom in your home that's only 200 square feet. If you want to heat it with this heater, it will cost you $500 a year in electricity to heat that small bedroom with just this heater. You heat that same small bedroom with this heater and it will only cost you $50. So rather than $500, only $50. That's $450 cheaper that much you would save in electricity by heating with this heater rather than that. Most people think that infrared heat is just a supplemental heat source. We have oil in our home. We haven't used oil to heat our home in five years. Our home was built in the 70s, poorly insulated, uh, single pane windows, again poorly insulated. Uh, with oil it would have cost $3,000 to heat with oil but only $1,500 in electricity. Our home being 3,000 square feet and poorly insulated we actually needed three of them. But to heat with three of them still was half of what we would have spent if we heated with oil. Now as you see what we've done is we've marked all the heaters on this side with yellow signs and this here is the heat output of the infrared heater. Over here we have the green ones. These are a little bit hotter. Now when we check the heat output of an infrared heater to, become, to be consistent what we do is we measure the hottest point. The hottest point of an infrared heater where the heat comes out is the top center. We use a laser thermometer to check that point. So now in testing the heat output, again, the top center is the hottest point. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this one here. And we're going to get the hottest point on this, the top center. And if we hit it just right, we should be able to get close to 200 degrees. We're 197. We're getting close. So there we go, 201. Okay, 200. So 200 degrees is about the hottest point you're going to get on this particular heater. And you can see the thermostat is set all the way on high, and that's the most heat that it's going to make. So if we compare that with our heater, okay, and we'll do the same thing, and we'll put it to the top there to get the hottest point. And the hottest point on this one is just over 600. There you go, 609 degrees. If you can see the bottom number there. Ours is the very best, and as you go through our video series, you will see some of the areas that our heater is superior than the other infrared heaters. But the heat output is the main thing you're looking for, and without question, it makes more heat than any other 1500 watt infrared heater made, which means it's going to cost you less in electricity. You may be able to buy one of these infrared heaters for $99 at Walmart, but your electric consumption is going to be $500 more. It'll be $1,000 a year to heat 2,000 square feet. It'll only be $500 to heat with this. So in the long run, you're not saving anything by getting one of these more expensive ones. The truth of the matter is, if you could get one of these for free, it still is going to cost you way more than heating your home with this.
We recommend when you're looking for a heater, you just buy the best heater is there is out there, and that's our heater. You'll save money, you'll stay safe, you'll stay warm, and you'll stay healthy by buying the best infrared heater out there. And thank you for coming and helping us to compare some of these differences between infrared heaters. I hope it's been helpful for you.